Last week, rumors began to swirl that the Texas Four, consisting of Lamar, SFA, Abilene Christian, and Sam Houston State, could be on their way out of the Southland Conference and headed to the Western Athletic Conference. Each school neither confirmed nor denied the reported move, but all stated that they will do what's in the best interest for their student athletes. Well, today, after nearly a two hour executive session amongst SFA's Board of Regents, the first domino has fallen for one of the Texas Four. The board has approved SFA President Scott Gordon to negotiate a potential membership with the Western Athletic Conference. SFA Athletic Director Ryan Ivey said, an invite has been received, but will not be accepted unless the two sides can agree on terms. The invite from the WAC would be official starting July 1st, 2022. As far as Lamar University is concerned, mum's the word, but multiple sources have confirmed that the move is imminent and we can expect an announcement in the coming weeks. Switching gears to high school football, congratulations to Sterling City, Winthorst, Shiner, and Canadian on winning their respective district slash division state championship. In what looked to be a shootout from the open in possession, Sterling City would take command in the second behind four first half touchdowns by the Eagles cross Knittle. Sterling City would go on to Mercy Roll May 68-22 for the Class 1A Division I state championship. Over in Class 2A Division II, Winthorst stunned the three-time defending state champ Mark Panthers after a successful two-point conversion attempt with just 26 seconds left. The win marks the third state championship for the Trojans. Meanwhile, over in 2A Division I, the Brooks brothers, no, not the clothing company, but Doug and Dalton Brooks helped the Shiner Comanches run the table in 2A Division I to cap off the perfect season after knocking off post 42-20. By the way, Doug Brooks was playing like Derrick Henry, looking like a man amongst boys on the field today. Please take a moment to enjoy this stiff arm in all its glory. Finally, in 3A Division II, trailing by six with just 30 seconds remaining, Canadian's Josh Colwell connected with Reagan Cochran for this game-winning 52-yard touchdown. The win gave the Wildcats their fifth state championship after defeating Franklin 35-34. Finally tonight, some possible good news out of Houston. Despite undergoing Tommy John's surgery at the end of September with a 12 to 14 month timetable to return, Justin Verlander still wants to pitch in 2021. Astros GM James Click provided an update on the veteran pitcher. As you would expect from JV, he's getting after his rehab like, like a Hall of Famer. So he has every intention of trying to come back uh, next year. I think that that would be an aggressive timetable, but we're not taking anything off the table when it comes to a guy like that. In Port Natchez, I'm Mike Canizales for 409 Sports.